All right, so today we're gonna do a roundup of four premium-ish microphones here. These are not in the budget class. They're not under 100 bucks. They're right above it. We'll be talking maybe around like 150-ish and right around there. But I think spending that extra money really justifies some of the features, build quality, and everything within these microphones. As far as these microphones, basic straight up USB plugged and played. And that's how we're gonna test them. I'm gonna plug them right into my Razor Blade 17 here in OBS press record. I'm not gonna dive into any of the software on any of these microphones and tweak anything, right? All of them have software you can dab with them, all the sounds of the microphone and everything, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna test the core sound of their microphone to make sure we're good out the box. And then of course you can dabble with whatever you want right there. As far as my environment, AC's running. I have the fan running over there on low setting. I have a fan running in this light right here. And then of course you might hear the laptop chug here and there. So again, just so you got an idea of my environment, a little bit of sound dampening, nothing major. Also, by the way, before we get started on this test, if you want a deeper dive on any of these microphones, like it's true, just like we're sitting here conversating for a half hour, I do Techni Talks every Sunday. I got a bunch already, you can go check out the playlist. In each one of those, I use a different microphone. So if you really are interested in say the Yeti right here, and you want to just really just hear that conversation, Again, go check out Technique Talks right there. And uh, I use one of these microphones in each different one of there so you can hear just for a long time and you get that real true like conversation with them. But all in all, we're gonna plug these up and get that sound test. All right, so we're gonna kick it off with the HyperX Quadcast S. This is the RGB version. I, again, you can dive into the software and dab with it. As you see, mine's coming up red right here. In the software, you can dab with RGB, get some effects. It's Pretty cool, I'm not an RGB guy, but again, whenever it's active, it's lit up red. As you see right up here on the top, you just tap it and it mutes. Kind of opposite what I expect, honestly, because on most headsets, when you're muted, it's red, when it's active, it's off. Opposite with this, and now we're back to active. But uh, anyways, I really love the simplicity, it's just a very light tap. You barely touch it and it goes mute like there. So really cool. You can put it anywhere on like a uh, mic stand or whatever or down like this. Bam, just tap it right there. I really love it. Now it does come with this stand, which is metal also and the shock mount here. So really cool. But even though it has this kind of shock mount, it's still gonna pick some up because it's still radiating from that stand. So you might wanna get it on a mic stand or a lot of people use those arms. My favorite thing, by the way, to use, I love this little guy right here. I believe it's like 20 bucks. And this is like, you can work out with this thing. You know what I mean? Like this weight is heavy duty. It extends. I love putting it away from where I'm working. Bam, and putting a mic right there. I stink and love this thing and highly recommend it. I use one in here and not in my game room. Again, it's like 20, 23 bucks and no joke. It is stinking heavy duty and it works with all these microphones i really love that there so anyways as far as the microphone you're pretty much hearing it i'm, I'm all over the place right here i'm right up on it so if you wanted to talk right up on them see i'm picking up a lot more and it's jumping up into the red right here now if i scooch back to right here it seems like it's pretty good i'm not sure how much environment it's picking up now also on the hyperx quadcast you can see now of course the microphone's out there so this is how it's going to sound like that as you see you have this little gain wheel so you can tone it all the way down and now we're probably sounding much quieter and then you can crank it all the way up and we're getting quite a bit louder here now now the weird thing as you see you got those dots right there look how far it overshoots them bam all the way in front bam all the way in back there so that's pretty weird with this microphone it's always throwing me off since i had this microphone it's like okay i understand i got my five notches but what about everything it's passed? You know, it's just been very weird, but all in all, it feels quality. It moves smooth. The top is real smooth. The build is solid. The microphone's actually metal with a uh, windscreen uh, inside it right there to kind of prevent some of those P's and T's. Shock mount's nice. And again, you can use this shock mount on that mic stand I had right there. They give you attachment in there. Bam, and just plug it in. You also have different direction pickup right there. And the back, as you see, so if you're having like... Um, say you want the entire environment picked up or if you're doing like an interview it'll pick it up from both sides but of course this is the core sound us going right on right here but it's really cool you have the multiple patterns if you use that i believe the majority of us you can use the one straight onto us right here but all in all this is the hyperx quadcast while we're on this let's go on and see the price let's look on uh, amazon first hyperx quadcast and now you get an example of a laptop behind the microphone in, in the uh, microphones right here in front, you can hear the keys tapping, 
laptop breathing. So regular quadcast 139, not the RGB version. The regular one is red and then the shock mount thing is red right there. So you still get the red, which it's funny. I got the RGB version, but uh, I keep it on red. That's funny. So I don't see the RGB one on Amazon. HyperX quadcast. Let's go on and check Best Buy to catch the price on this one. Okay. So regular quadcast, the one that's just red, is 140, 139.99. So 140, RGB version 159.99. Quadcast and quadcast S. As far as that $20, I honestly just don't think it's worth it. Some of you just probably don't like red, and that'll justify it for sure right there. You know, if you don't want this red thing, um, the RGB is just fluff in general, to be honest. But again, you're talking $20 price difference right there. But all in all, this is the HyperX Quadcast X Quadcast S microphone right here. Let's get to the next one. All right, so next up is one of the newer microphones that are on the market right now, and that is the Epos B20. And straight out the box, the presentation or, or the feel of the product here is kind of half-half right there, right? Like you got metal, you got the metal stand and everything, the metal around the actual body and then the grill of the microphone. So you have kind of that premium feel, but it's very lightweight. Like it almost, it, it's kind of weird to say it. Like it feels and looks premium, but it feels kind of cheap. It, as much sense as that does not make at all, you know what I mean? But again, you feel like you got a quality product, but again, it's just incredibly lightweight. Um, as far as on this microphone, on the front, your mute button is right here, actually. When you mute it, that light actually turns red. And it's a little bit of click. I want to see if it picks up whenever we mute it, actually. So I'm catching on my graph over here that it is picking up some of those mute presses. That's a little bit of a stinker because I like the tap coming off the HyperX. You just barely tap it and you don't really pick anything up. This one, you get the click. So everyone in your call or your game is going to hear that right there. Now on the front, you have your volume for your headphones, which connects right on the bottom. And again, you got the USB-C that connects on the bottom. I honestly don't like that. You see how that cable's coming out from the bottom here? Now, if you're on a mic stand or an arm or something, you'll be good to go. Even if you're on that one we talked about, you're good to go. But on the one that it comes with, kind of an annoyance. Now you can route the wire through the bottom and you have a little router right there. But again, it's just, I don't know, it's annoying with it being on the bottom. It kind of just bends out right there. I don't know, I would have preferred to be on the backside. Speaking on the backside here, as I manhandle the microphone, it probably gets loud in your ears. You have your gain and then you have your direction as far as your pickup pattern, just like we had on the HyperX right there. Now, talking about that gain dial and the um, headphone volume up here, they're continuously rolling. So let me roll it right now. Now we're up and I guess we're max. I'm peeking into the red right now, so I'm gonna talk a little bit lower, but we're peeking into the red. So let me go on and turn the gain all the way down. So see, I don't even know when the end is. Anyways, I guess I'm at the end because I'm staying right there. And it looks like we're at a pretty comfortable level, by the way, with the gain all the way down. Let me crank it up to where, ooh, whoa, 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 it shot up really fast. See, so I don't like the dials on that. I don't like continuously rolling dials. Um, I wish there were maybe some clicks. I don't know, the clicks would mess it up, but I wish it stopped at that max point right there. But all in all, you have that mute, you have the headphone port, um, and then again, all your controls as far as direction right there. The stand that it comes with, you do have tilt right if you want up or down or anything like that but that's really it you know if i'm talking close to it this is what it sounds like also now if i'm talking back oh whoa it picked up that quite a bit okay so now if i'm back here this is what it sounded like let's go on and pick up uh so it seems like it's picking up quite a bit even behind let's go on and pull it up and we're going to type on the keyboard here um let's check amazon first here Epo Speed 20. Okay, this microphone is 200 bucks, guys. Again, this is the newest one on the market, so you have that just released price right there. I mean, you, we got four and a half stars um, so far going here. 200 bucks. Let's just check Best Buy just to see as well. Epo Speed 20. 200 bucks there as well. Again, this one just recently hit the market. Um, do I think it's worth 200 bucks? We're talking 139. 149 whatever you know depending which one you get on the hyper x to 200 bucks right here I, I wish i had the tap feature i wish it was a little bit heavier maybe it would reduce some of that pickup right there but all in all of course the most important thing is how do these mics sound and that we're going to be finding out together when we play back but all in all this is the epos b20 microphone on to the next one
All right, so now we're using the Elgato Wave 3 microphone here. And again, I've used this in Technic Talks before, and I've had really good results for this uh, with this microphone. There's tons of accessories you can buy for this, the shock mount, the windscreen, and everything. But out of the box, this is what we get. And it's almost like uh, the smallest or most minimal compared to the other ones or ones we're going to be testing here. And that starts with the mic stand here. It is metal, and you have a metal arm, but the arms... The little forks holding it on are plastic and they're just chintzy. Like when you take the microphone off, it has some flex. So again, the microphone stands pretty chintzy, but I think Elgato kind of knows like, yeah, most people that are going to be spending this kind of money on one of the upper tier microphones, they're probably going to be putting it on an arm. You know what I mean? And I think they kind of pack the, the features and everything, the, the money, the build into the microphone rather than the external like accessories being in the stand right there. But all, all in all, the Wave 3, as you see on the front right here, you have microphone, headphone, and then your mix as far as kind of like, um, what do you call it? Monitoring, mic monitoring. You can hear what's going on in your system and then what's going on through your microphone here. And you just press this and you can adjust it. Your microphone volume right there, your mix from your system to what you're hearing here. And then again, your microphone volume. Right now we're set on notch three. We'll crank it all the way up. Now this is all the way up and I'm peeking into the red, so I'm gonna talk a little bit lower. Now let's go and crank it all the way down. Now we're all the way down. As you see, no lights on right here and we're all the way down. Let's get back to our third setting, which is what I think has always been the best for me, just nice and balanced right there. Now, by the way, this guy has some nice heft to it. It really does. Again, cause that whole metal stand on the bottom is metal. It's just the arms that are weird. The cool thing on the Elgato is just like with the um, HyperX Quadcast is you got tap to mute right up there. And it's real simple. As you see right up there, it just says mute and it's such like, bam, let me show you this way and you can kind of see it mute. So I'll just tap it. Very simple, quick, easy tap, just like on the HyperX. It's like, you don't got to press it down. There's no clicky button. It's just like on your phone. If you just tap something like that. That's exactly what it does. And I stink and love it, you know? Um, USB-C coming out the backside, and that's where your headphone port is too. I really like it, because again, say if I'm using, again, like this microphone stand I showed you before, I'll plug in the Elgato down here, right? And then it'll come to the side, I'll have my mute or whatever, or I can tilt it downwards, and I can just mute it like that. So if I'm on my keyboard, bam, just mute right there. The wires are routing out here. They're not coming down and really just visible in your face you know I, I really like that as far as the stand I mean it's gonna pick some noise up you know what I mean because again it's sitting right there on a the desk with a lot of the hyperx is the only one really with that shock mount in there um let's go ahead and check the price on the wave three as well Oop, wrong thing we're pulling up there okay Elgato Elgato wave three Okay, so they sell it with some accessories. They have it on Amazon here with the uh, pop filter. It's like a little metal grate. I have it in the other room, actually. And I also have the um, shock mount. Because, again, I leave it on that stand in there, and I use a shock mount and a pop filter. You're talking a pop filter is like 30, shock mounts of uh, 40. Not bad, but you can get the combo with the mic and the pop filter of 159. Not too bad right there. I believe the mic, well, no, I'm seeing the mic here by itself is 155. Hold up, guys. So we got 155 for the mic, and then 159 with the pop filter. Just spend 159 to get the pop filter. Trust me, you know what I mean. Um, with the shock mount, we're gonna get up to 169 shock mount in pop filter, which is again what I got, 199. Okay, but you can find they'll mark these down. Let's just check Best Buy just for grins and giggles. Wave three, because I've seen this mic drop on sale. Well, same price on Best Buy as well. Also about the Wave is um, if you have like a Stream Deck or something like that, it, it can sync right with that. And the software with any of the Elgato products, their lights, Stream Deck, the mics, it's so cool because everything's just right there. It is so simple to use. You get in the software and there's so much to dabble with this microphone as well. It, it's really cool. And again, with my Technics Talks, this one has had some really really good results right there um but again as far as the microphone say if i'm talking behind it here you can see it dropped big time so we're dropped down there 
right? If you bring it in front of you, it's over here. Let's see if we just have it off to the side and lean to the back. It's still picking up pretty good. I'm just kind of curious how much uh, room sound and kind of echo that real tinny sound is it picking up right there. But if I'm just sitting back in my chair, just kind of cozy and the mic's right there, say if I'm on like a little call or something, this is what it would sound like. And it seems like it's picking up pretty good. It's really a matter of what is it picking up in my room right here. So now if I come up right up on it, right next to it, I see it's picking up quite a bit right now. So I'm talking a bit lower. How much bass is it picking up out of my no out of my room? And how much less room noise are we picking up right there? PC's chugging. Let's see if we get any of that uh, just static noise. Wow. I don't know about what it's picking up here, but on my PC, on the laptop, it's not picking up anything. On the other ones, uh, when I was quiet, it would pick up some. So pretty good results right here. We'll, we'll have to see what it sounds like when we actually edit it and get it posted up. But all in all, this is the Elgato Wave 3 microphone. All right, so now we're using the Blue Yeti X right here. Now, I know they have some other blue microphones like the, the basic Yeti, and it might be a little bit cheaper than this. But again, we're using the Yeti X and let me tell you that out of the box experience with this microphone is premium. It really is. The stand is just big. It's heavy duty. The mic is big and heavy duty. It's all metal. It's just, it's heavy. It's solid. You feel like you have a quality product in your hand. You really do. Um, again, on the see, you can kind of see the uh, peak of the uh, how much I'm talking going right there. That'll be different between your PC settings here and everything, but you can see I'm peeking into yellow on my PC. I'm not, but you can adjust your microphone volume. We'll crank it all the way down here. All right, so we are all the way down, and it's actually quite quiet on my PC, and you can see it picking up there, how much we're picking. So you want it to be into the right before the yellow there. And again, it's going to differ from your PC settings to your mic settings here. So we'll get it right there. Okay, now that I'm in front of it, it's coming back into the yellow. But really simple to control. You can also... You saw how it turned red right there? That is our mute. Let's see if it picks up any noise when we're doing that. So as you just heard right there, it does pick up a little bit of a click whenever you're pressing that mute. It's not like a touch. It's more or less like a button. On the back side of the microphone, as you can see right here, and by the way, I'm talking behind and away from the microphone so you can see how that sounds, you have pattern. And you got the four different patterns there. Say if you're doing an interview or you want to pick up the entire room, you have those. Simply press the button and it lights up which one you want right there. On the bottom, it, per it connects by micro USB and that is where your headphone port is as well. If you guys can see right down there, bit of a stinker. I don't like it because again, it just kind of bends the uh, wire out of the way. I think it would have looked a lot cleaner if it came off through the backside right there. And again, you can control your headphone volume from it. Now, talking about this microphone with me used in a Techni Talks before, it sounded good, but it was a little airy a little high pitch for my liking so i did buy this little uh windscreen pop filter off amazon i believe it was like five bucks seven bucks and it just sits on top right there so uh we can see i can see it drop just a little bit right on my screen but we can see if it bounced it out maybe put a little bit more bass in there a little more natural sound and got rid of some of that airiness as far as the uh mic test i'm gonna crank it up just a pinch right there because it seemed like it dropped some um let's also see what price this is here okay Let's go on and pull it up. Which one are we using here again? The Yeti X. Yeti X. Okay, so $169 for this guy. That's not a sale price. That's just as is. $169, four and a half stars on Amazon. Let's go on and check Best Buy. We're just going to get multiple prices here. Yeti X. Same. $169 on Best Buy. Almost five stars on there. So lots of good good reviews on this guy here the other one you might be asking about is again that yeti it's like 130 i'm looking at it here right now i have not used it it looks still like it's it's almost like that premium look feel but maybe just a little bit less again of course sound is key not really you know you want a quality product for sure but um so that one's a bit cheaper right there i don't have that one on hand so sorry i can't test that but all in all this one does feel out of all of them, I would say this feels definitely the most premium here. But all in all, did we check the stand yet? Let's let's see. Let me pull up OBS again here. What was it? So all of them, even 
even behind and how you heard me typing on a keyboard, they're all pretty much going to pick that up. And like I stated, if you're spending this money on a microphone, a stand that's 20 bucks or an arm or, you know, I even have, I can't reach it, but I got a full microphone because me personally, um, sometimes like if I'm doing my technique talks, I like it on something that's not even on a desk in case I accidentally pounce on it. It's not going to pick up any of that vibration. But when I'm gaming, again, back to this one, I leave it over here. And it's not even on my desk. It just reaches over to me, you know what I mean? So none of that vibration with you hitting your keyboard and moving your mouse is not going to pick any of that up. Anything that's attached to your table, whether it be an arm or anything, even with the shock mount, it'll pick up a little bit. Not much when you combine it all, you know, but uh, again, I'll, I'll leave a link down in the description, some good quality mic stands as well. All right, so I just listened to all the recordings. I actually used my... Um, my Meze Neos over here, not just straight laptops. I wanted to get that better sound quality. I listened to every playback of these microphones and I'm really, I'm really stuck here. I, I really pride myself at the end that I can tell you guys, hey, I recommend this product. I love it, go get it. 100% recommend, you know? It was pretty hard listening to all these playbacks because no fluff, no joke, they all sounded good. They all sounded very good. You know, as you listen to them right there, you can see the P's, the T's, the room noise. Now I can break a few things down on them, you know. Um, features and functions, I love the Elgato and I love the HyperX. I love the touch button mute. That's something I absolutely love, especially when I'm gaming, playing a lot of Rainbow Six lately, bam, touch it, I'm muted. I don't gotta go over there and make sure I'm pressing this microphone. Next thing you know, I'm shaking it all around, trying to press the mute button, you know. I love the touch to mute, absolutely love it. As far as the Epos, it had a great like broadcast type sound. Again, these are all straight out the box. But I also felt like sometimes when I was a little bit further from it, that it really picked up the echo of my voice or just the airiness of my voice within a room with the uh, Epos right there. That was kind of a stinker with that. And then going to the uh, Yeti, I felt like it was a little more, would I say phone call-ish? Like just... I don't know what I, I don't want to say airy because I didn't feel like it picked up a lot of the room, but my voice was a little more high pitched compared to these guys out of the box. Now, correct me, not correct me, but just stick with me when I'm saying out of the box. Every single one of these microphones, especially the Yeti and the Elgato, you can dive into software and really tweak these mics crazy, especially the Yeti with the blue software. I mean, you can dabble with it all night long and come up with that sound you want pretty much all of them. But again, the Elgato and the Yeti, you can truly tweak them to cancel any of that stuff out I just talked about. But all in all, they all sound stinking amazing. Which one would I recommend? <sighs> again, I love the features and functions on the HyperX and the Elgato. That really sells me. That does. I hope uh, Yeti comes out with one with just touch right there. Um, I love the build and quality of the Yeti. You feel like you got a seriously premium product on your hand. I love the simplicity of the Elgato. I don't know. Let me just say, buy whichever one's the cheapest. They're all great. You know, which one can you currently get at the cheapest or which one's on sale? You know, which one's going to go with your setup and what you have? Then that's where you're going to get your win. You know what I mean? That I honestly think that. Like, seriously, usually I like saying, hey, go buy this one. That's usually how I go about it. But they all sound so good. Features, functions, price, build is going to, uh, you know, depend on you because they're all stinking amazing. They really are. Please let me know down in the comments which one you think is the best, because I'm really, I really want to know right now, because again, after me listening to my, they're all that good. I want to know what you guys think as well. And if you're interested in the microphones under a hundred bucks as well, hopefully next week I'll have that. I got a couple more mics on order for that test right there. So I want to bring some of those and they'll be under a hundred, some ranging from 50 and then again, 99, just right underneath a hundred right there. So if you're looking for something a little bit more of a budget option, I'll have that coming for you as well. But all in all, this is a mic test for some little more premium microphones right here. I hope I helped you out if you're looking into a new microphone or heck one of these right here. Any more questions, ask down in the comments and please spark the conversation down below as to which one of these you really liked as far as this test right here. But again, thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video, this roundup review right here. I hope I helped you out and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for some future tech videos. Hey, I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye now.